Good morning. Welcome to Cookie Crumb Fun. I say good morning because it is morning right now. This is a What I Eat a Day collab. Um, a bunch of channels are getting together and we're going to share with you what we ate today. I would love for you to check out their channels and uh, the playlist will be below in the description box. I've already made my coffee. I'm going to put all my ingredients in it and then show you what it looks like and tell you what I put in it. And then hopefully I'll remember the rest of the day to share with you what I ate or at least a picture of what I ate and I can tell you about it. Uh, it is on uh, Thursday and it's a busy day for us so I thought that would be the best day because it's the day that I eat um, more crazy hours. So if you would like to see more about what I eat in a day, keep watching. If you want to see more about what others eat in a day, check out the playlist below because I love these because you can get ideas for recipes, right? Somebody might make it different and give you an inspiration, different breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And this is a great way to get inspiration in your recipes and um, just great ideas from others. So stay tuned and I'll get right to it. So every morning I have a cup of coffee before you do anything else. And this is what I all put in my coffee. I follow the Trim Healthy Mama diet, and this is kind of like a trimachino, what they call a trimmy. So I use 100% um, stevia. So I put one donk of that in my coffee. I put a teaspoon of this Great Lakes collagen. I put a teaspoon of coconut oil. I just happen to have this one this week, and this is a little jar I keep it in because this is too big for my cupboard, so I have to fill it up. And then I put a pinch of the Celtic sea salt in it. And also a little teaspoon of this Kerrygold butter, which is grass-fed butter. And you'll see later that this turns like the top of my coffee green. And I know a lot of people that probably turn them that would turn them off, but it's so creamy with all of this stuff in it. So I'm going to put it all in, blend it together, and show you what it looks like because it is so good. So here's my cup of coffee, all nice and foamy because of the um, mostly because of the collagen that's in it and this is just a protein so if you're looking for a protein powder this is a great one this is so I love this one but um, I might just put a teaspoon in it and then all the other ingredients the salt works with the stevia to help um, make the flavor more palatable and it just they some sort of chemical reaction between the two of them that make it taste so much better so if you're trying to use stevia maybe put a pinch of salt it doesn't have to be this kind this is like almost like the real stuff before it got all processed. You know, it's gray and um, it's really good. So anyway, here's my cup of coffee in my flamingo mug from my friend Christina. Look at that. I'm all about flamingos. So this is my cup. I usually put sweet drops in it. Let me show you. I'm using a peppermint coffee. I got a good deal after um, Christmas. These were $1.99 and these are like $9 coffees. So I bought like four of them and it's so good. And I'm not tired of drinking it yet, so I'm going to still drink them. So that's why I haven't put any flavored um, stevia in. But I usually use these stevia sweet leaf drops. Um, sweet drops from the Sweet Leaf Company. You can get them on Amazon. I have links below to them. And this English chocolate tastes like caramel. It is so good. It comes in a little dropper bottle, you know, like baby medicine will come in. And they also have vanilla that my husband uses. And they have, um, let's see, they have chocolate. They have a whole bunch of different flavors, and they're really cheap on Amazon, but you get free shipping from their website, and 30% off usually. But um, these are amazing for your coffee. So if you're trying to get out of um, drinking, um, putting sugar in your coffee, and you want to go for something that's, because um, stevia is real, it's, it's a plant. It's not chemical made like Splenda and that blue one. But, um, sorry, that's just the Trim Healthy Mama in me. But um, this is really, really, really good, and it makes a great cup of coffee. And they also have fruit flavors if you want to put them in your water. And um, they also have these. I know this has nothing to do with my what I'm going to eat in a day. I might make a good girl moonshine with this. But this is sweetened and flavored, and you put it in your water. You can put it in like some sparkling water if you're trying to give up soda, and it would give um, a soda flavor to it. So, but I'm going to drink my coffee and then figure out breakfast. That's what I got going on now. Today for my breakfast. I um, another cup of coffee, and I made a. It's called the chocolate skinny chip muffin. It's in the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. I follow Trim Healthy Mama. It's in this cookbook. It is a quick muffin in the mug, and I use the Lily's chocolate chips, and I use Truya, and almond flour, flax meal, like a baking blend. Trim Healthy Mama baking blend. So I'm going to go enjoy this. I'm gonna put a little dab of butter on top of it. It's really like good so um I'm gonna go enjoy this this is what I'm eating for breakfast 
All right, for my lunch today, I've decided to make a smoothie shake. Mike's considered a protein shake. Um, there's no sugar in it. There is no, um, it's strawberries, almond milk, sweetener, uh, mineral salts, um, I'm out of vanilla extracts and protein powder. So this is the protein powder I use. I'll have a link below to this. I just am happy to this one. And I have everything in here and I'm going to blend it all up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done blending it. But this is what I'm going to have for lunch. This shake is pretty amazing because it puffs up so much. That's why it's called um, Strawberry Big Boy movie thing from True Healthy Mama because the protein powder um, puffs it up so it makes it more filling and it makes like so much. I mean you can see I got like six cups of this now okay. So if you wanted more fluffy you could just do it more. But um, it wasn't sweet enough so I added some more trivia to it. But I'm going to go eat this, finish folding laundry and then we'll have science class later with kids. Yay! 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 And I'm going to put it in my Trim Healthy Mama Cup. So I filled it up and it's overflowing. This is a quart jar and I still have some left. So it's in this cookbook if you follow Trim Healthy Mama or have the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. So this is what my lunch is right here. See you at snack or dinner time. Tonight when I get home from church, I'm going to make chili in my Instant Pot. So I just wanted to share on this what I eat in a day that I'm prepping ahead. I know you can cook the meat on saute or whatever in the Instant Pot. Instant Pot. But we're going to be getting home from church, you know, about 8.30. And I don't want to wait until 10 o'clock to eat. So I'm going to start this. So I'm going ahead and cooking this just regular in my pan. So I got two pounds. And I got these on clearance at Sprouts for 99 cents a pound. So that was like an awesome deal. So this is part of what I eat in a day. So I just wanted to share with you the process also of what I'm eating in a day. All right, so that's all I'm doing. Food prep for later. We are in the van on our way to church. It's just after five o'clock. And what I'm eating right now is a trap. And to make it a trim healthy mom, eat a banana. Oh, he's got a banana too. I want right. a banana. Oh, well, let's see if the door's banana. locked. Nope, there's Carter, the door's locked. Okay, so we're off to church, and I'm going to make that chili when we get home. Want some chili? Okay, bye. One last thing. I did not share my dinner last night because, problem, we got home from church, 8.15ish, and I went right into making the chili. I got everything out, and then I realized that I had no chili powder. You can't make chili without chili powder, and I make my own seasoning. I don't buy those nasty seasoning packets and so I searched all my cupboards you know and what apparently I've done I've bought cumin and curry instead of chili I think the C and I buy the wrong thing so I have it on my list when we go to Walmart tonight so I couldn't make chili so then I stood there I said what can I make and then I thought well maybe I can make taco soup and then I look oh you need chili for taco seasoning <laughs> I had all the other spices I was so hungry all right I was really hungry it's going on 8 30 Mom hadn't eaten since 5 o'clock when we left for church, and that was just the sandwich, that little tortilla thing, and the banana. So then I stood there, I whined a little bit at myself, and got upset with my, not, I get yell and get mad, but you know, like inside you're ticked off at yourself because you can't believe you can't make it, and you're really looking forward to chili, you know what I mean. So then I ended up saying, aha, vegetable beef stew. So I made a vegetable beef stew, you know, it was ground turkey, so I don't know, vegetable turkey stew, whatever, vegetable turkey stew, yeah. So it was still on plan for Trim Healthy Mama, and it turned out fantastic. The soup, I cooked it in the Instant Pot, and um, my kids ended up saying it took me a really long time to make it. Um, it was one of those times where I was tired, and I reminded myself that I should have had food prepared for me when I came home from church because it wasn't ready until after 9.30. It was close to 10 o'clock by the time I finally got some soup. And my husband wasn't home. He had left to go do a little work before, um, uh, after we got home from church. So I had all the kids. I put some of them in bed. And then they all, some of them wanted to taste the soup. So they were staying up really late. The soup turned out really good. But I was tired. 
and I, I was done. It was the end of the day and I was done. And I waited too long to eat. You know, all these double whammies, triple whammies were hitting me. I, I laugh at it now, but at the moment I was not laughing. I got in bed. I don't even know what time it was. 1045 ish, 11. And I was so worn out. I mean, I probably fell asleep within seconds. And I normally have a hard time falling asleep at night. <laughs> That's how tired I was. So not to turn this into a whiny fest about my poor little life. I just realized last night, number one, have food prepared for me before we get home from church. Know what I'm going to eat and have it all ready. And number two, no more Instant Pot meals when I get home from church on Thursdays. So hang on, hang on, hang on. So if you um, watch this um whole video i appreciate you watching it see what i eat in a day go ahead and check out the playlist and see all the other ladies that participated and check out all the different foods that they eat because you might get a new idea if they're sharing recipes or links or um different ways that they eat everybody's different we eat different um different diets and i don't mean like diet to lose weight but our diet is different so i appreciate you watching go check out the playlist and all the other ladies that are participating and i appreciate you being here so until next time be a blessing